According to data from the state, the number of pedestrians killed on roads in Colorado has nearly doubled since 2008. That same data indicates a similar upward trend here in Colorado Springs. Cardio News Channel 13 Cindy Centifanti is diving deeper into the numbers tonight and asking an expert what's driving this disturbing trend. Cindy. Bart Heather, that's right. Now, according to the Colorado Department of Transportation, there's been an 89% increase of pedestrian deaths in the last 13 years. What's even more is just in the last year in Colorado, there was 90 pedestrian deaths, but that's not the only place seeing an increase. Pedestrian deaths rose 21% across the U.S. last year, the largest annual increase ever recorded, according to data from the Governor's Highway Safety Association. It's especially alarming when you consider that traffic was significantly reduced for a good portion of last year's pandemic. In Colorado, uh, last year there were 92 uh, pedestrian fatalities. That's up 21% from the year before. So that's the jump in Colorado is above what the national average has been. In El Paso County last year, there were 13 pedestrian deaths. According to the coroner's office, eight of those were the fault of the pedestrian. The other five, the driver. This year, though, we're ahead of that pace. There have already been 15 pedestrian deaths. The most recent happening Tuesday night when a pickup truck hit a man on Fountain Mesa Road. Found police telling us the man was crossing the middle of the dark road or maybe even walking down the center. One of the big reasons for the increase in, uh, in pedestrian fatalities is distraction. And when I say distraction, I mean not just motorists, although that, that is a big part of why uh, uh, motorists uh, crash into pedestrians, but also distraction on the part of both pedestrians and bicycle riders. David Reich with the National Road Safety Foundation, adding that many pedestrians have intoxicants in their systems, or they're caught looking down at their phones instead of the road. And as we saw Tuesday night, darkness can be a killer. Uh, pedestrians can't be as easily seen. If they're walking uh, in an area where there's no sidewalk, if they're walking in the roadway uh, and they've got dark clothing on, it's very easy to blend into the, the darkness that's surrounding them. And a change in vehicle preferences has played a role as well. The Denver Regional Council of Governments noting that most of the crashes that kill pedestrians and cyclists now involve SUVs, trucks and other large vehicle types. And because of the recent spike in pedestrian-related vehicle deaths, the National Traffic Safety Administration has declared this month, October, as National Drive Safe Pedestrian Month. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Cindy Santafonte for KRDO News Channel 13.